So hello and welcome to our first official lecture and this lecture will be probably different than anything you've ever seen uh, because I am a heavy proponent of visual learning and I'm going to be actually showing you instead of just explaining all in examples for it to be as simple as it's humanly possible. So uh, this lecture will be all about thumbnail building concepts. Usually I'm heavy proponent of just get straight to the point and start explaining whatever you want to explain. But in thumbnails, you need to understand not just how it's made, but why it's made as well. What I will be actually showing you on examples of thumbnails, what I'm actually doing on the templates and on the other things, you need to understand why am I actually doing and what other people are doing as well. So here we have a YouTube homepage and here I'm going to be explaining why we're using some of the YouTube thumbnail concepts. So let just let me just show you. So now we'll discuss an element in thumbnails. What do you need to put in thumbnails and you need to make a choice before you're going to think about making thumbnails. So I want you to look at these thumbnails. I want you to see one thing that is distinct that divides these thumbnails to two different separate categories. Now, and yeah, I'm not going to I'm going to make I'm not going to make you think about this a lot, but there is one thing that is making this or actually there are th two things, but there is one thing in particular that is distinguishing these thumbnails from any other thumbnails and it is faces. I want you to look at this. There are actually two types of thumbnails here. One with the face and second without the face. So as you can see, let's turn this on. Uh, as you can see, like this thumbnail has, does not have a face, has a face, has a face, has a face, has a face, does not have a face, does not have a face, have a face. So one, two, three, four, five thumbnails from eight thumbnails have a face. Let's go down here. Face, 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 face. Eight out of eight have faces. Face, face. No face, 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 face. Seven out of eight had faces in it. And go down. Face, face, face. Kinda like a face. Face, 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 face. Seven out of, of uh, seven and a half out of eight have faces. Do you see what do we have here? We have two distinct categories of thumbnails. One with a face and another without one. And ones with the faces are much more prevalent. All the videos that you see on my home feed right here, they are usually from people that are highly successful on YouTube. They have at least 10,000 subscribers and usually more than 100,000 or even more than a million, uh, million subscribers. So these people actually understand that this thing works and that's why they are putting faces in a thumbnail. But there is actually another reason. It's not that just works, it's why it works as well. You see, thumbnails are made in order to convey, in order to introduce people to the videos, in order to understand what is in the video alongside with the title. Faces and facial expressions are one of the parts, one of the sides of an information that you can convey. If you have a very angry face, people expect angry video. If you have a happy face, people expect happy video. Concerned face, people can expect concerned video. So you are basically trans you are basically showing another part of information within the thumbnail. And when you don't have a face on a thumbnail, you cannot convey this additional information. And sometimes it, it, it can be detrimental for your videos. So this is the first key concept that you need to do in order to create a good thumbnails. First, think of whether you want to use a face in a thumbnail or not and know that the thumbnails with the faces usually work better. Know that. But there is also a second thing. There is a second thing that divides these thumbnails from each other. Can you guess which one? Of course, I'm going to be telling you this right away, but still. And it is text in thumbnails. As you can see, majority of the thumbnails have some kind of text in them. Like first one, it eh, kind of have, but it doesn't. Have the text, 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 um, no text. So six out of 10 have text there. Text, 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 text. Uh, this will count as a text as well. Text, this one, maybe not text. Seven out of eight have a text here. Text, 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 text. Mm, icons will can count as a text as well, to be fair. Text, so seven out of 10. So here it is not as straightforward as with the faces. If absolute overwhelming majority of faces here, maybe a little less have text in it, but do have a text. That's a second differentiating factor is that thumbnails with the text in it work better because and more people are actually using it. More successful people are actually using it. So you need to think of two faces. You need to think of the faces and you need to think of the text. But Nick, you may ask right here, even on this screen, we show it a, a bit more clearly. This thumbnail does not have a face and does not have a 
text either. But what it has is a clear, clear object in the thumbnail. So we know that this video is about an iPad. So you can technically actually count this as a face because you can, it's, it's not in the technical word, a face, but for the purpose of a thumbnail, basically you understand what is the video about through this thumbnail as well. But you don't understand what's about it right here. It's just some kind of graph. It's actually just a screenshot. It's because it's a short, it's not a video, but it does not have a thumbnail. You can understand what's here, but here you can understand. Overall concept is this. You either need to have a face in a thumbnail or text or both. If you have none of them, tools have something like that. And by face, I mean, you need to have an object as well. If you are, let's say, recording video about the computer mouse, you need to have a mouse in the video, in the thumbnail. It should be there. If you're recording something about, I don't know, like some kind of remote, it should be in the video. It's basically an object. You can say that it's a face of the video. You can, you need to do it as well. If you will talk, if you'll be talking about remotes, you have a photo with a blank wall, just a texture. And even though it's beautiful blank wall or maybe a forest, and you'll be talking about the this one, it won't work. There is no forest in your video. There is only a remote. But that's what you should understand as well. Okay, another thing. Another thing is to have bright and contrasting colors. So as you can see, like absolute majority of them have very clear text and images and the thumbnails are pretty bright and you have a bright spot, you have a dark spot, you have shadows and it is pretty contrasting and it can be visible pretty well. You need to be thinking about that. Let's say uh, this tackling uh, thumbnail. As you can see, there is bright background on it. So you can't see this color right here. Or you can see the, uh, about uh, this video. It has yellow elements in the thumbnail. It's, it's clearly visible. Here is white on red. It's clearly visible. Here you have orange and bright backgrounds. Here you have very neon bright uh, meters on the, on the photo. Here you have a fire, a bright red color. This color is actually uh, gathers attention like this one do you like this one you don't you probably don't you should, you should not be doing uh, things like that have a bright contrasting colors and of course i'm going to be showing this in our actual tutorial and last but not least it uh, is very important that this thumbnail conveys the best if you have a subject if you have a subject if you have su face uh, in your videos it needs to be clearly defined and separated from the background as you can see this is an only thing that is in focus and everything is uh, back blurred and right here well because of the natural um, shape of an ipad natural uh, borders of an ipad it's clearly separated from the background as well let's go to the other like this one right here it's uh, pretty bright background and the dark shirt clearly separated here uh, on Vanessa Lau's video, you have a clear, clear border around her in both of her photos. Here, you have clear border right here. Here, you don't have a border, but you have a drop shadow on the background, which is pretty clear. You have a border here around that uh, laptop as well. You need to have clear defined borders as well to be separated from this one. This uh, lecture is all about just giving a concept. Remember, it's all about faces, it's all about text, it's all about the color, and it's all about the background separation. This is four main concepts that you need to remember all the time when you are creating your thumbnails, no matter what software you're creating in, no matter for what video you're creating in. These four clearly defined thumbnail concepts. Remember, again, faces in thumbnails, text in thumbnails, lights and contrasting colors, and separation from a background of a subject. Remember those ones. And of course, this one will be shown in our future videos on practice as well. So in the next lecture, we're actually gonna be talking about the software that we'll need for, and the resources that we'll need for uh, the thumbnail creation. And I'm gonna see you in that lecture. See you and take care. And as promised, here is an amazing offer that I want to give to you only to my students. Don't worry, there will be something for everyone, even if you're here for some free goodies. And I want to introduce to you two of my products, 
One is YouTube thumbnail template pack and another one is free thumbnail template. With my thumbnail template pack, which called the Nixon's thumbnail template pack, you're getting 10 fully editable, fully flat thumbnail templates that can be edited in any raster based software. Can it be whether it's Adobe Photoshop, Affinity Photo, or even websites like Photopea? Exactly the same way like I showed in one of our previous lectures. You'll get 10 PSD files and you can edit them however you want. Oh, and everything that you'll need for this thumbnail template, all the fonts and things like that will be linked on the product page as well and most importantly only to my students i'm giving exclusive 80 percent discount you're getting 80 percent exclusive discount code and for the price that you will be getting this it's a steal just use the code that you see on the screen right now during a checkout and you will get access to this 80 percent discount so what you'll get you'll get 10 fully editable thumbnail templates all the future updates for these thumbnail templates that are actually coming if it's not already there. And in the very near future, you're gonna get access to much, much, much more thumbnails. Oh, and don't worry, all the updates will be absolutely free for all the owners, and you will be notified when the update will come. And for my friends who cannot afford this, even though it's dirt cheap, still, I got you. I'm giving away one free thumbnail template for no charge, basically. And this is actually a thumbnail that is included in a full pack. You can say that it's some kind of demo version for you to understand whether it's a good thing for you or not. And all the links will be included in the resources of this lecture. I hope you will find this thumbnail template pack a very useful asset. And for the price that I'm providing it to you, it's practically a steal. So yeah, I'm absolutely sure that it will be very useful for you. And I guess this will be it for this lecture. Thank you for being here with me and I'm going to see you in the future courses. See ya and take care.